New at 10, the first woman to pilot and command a space shuttle is in town this weekend to sign her new book and speak to local girls about STEM education. Our meteorologist Brandon Woolley is live at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum tonight where Colonel Eileen Collins will be tomorrow. Brandon? Karen, I remember watching Eileen taking off on Space Shuttle Discovery 18 years ago. It was an honor to meet her today. Colonel Eileen Collins is no stranger to Oklahoma having started out here. I was in the first class of women to go through pilot training at Vance Air Force Base in Enid and there were four of us. The Air Force was impressed with Collins that they wanted her back to teach others. I was a student at Vance Air Force Base in 1978 and then they brought me back as an instructor from 1979 through 1982. You could say Oklahoma prepared her well for her later successful space shuttle missions. I felt like because of what I had been through in Enid many years earlier, I was really prepared for uh, going in there and, you know, doing my job the best I can. NASA called her while at Vance Air Force Base and they said, You're going to be the first woman pilot of the space shuttle. She felt confident that she was ready for the task at hand. She would pilot two missions and command the last two before her retirement. I felt like I was very well prepared, so I saw it really as a challenge that was really the opportunity of a lifetime. Collins is a big advocate for girls getting a STEM education. Traditionally, young girls don't think that STEM is for them. They think, oh, that's for boys. That was very true in my generation, but there's people that still think that way. So I like to tell the young girls, you know, these fields are for you also. Her book came out in late 2021 that she co-authored with Jonathan Ward and has been busy traveling to promote it. She said it was challenging writing it at times. I, I would say it was challenging because I had to even, I didn't write the whole thing from memory. I mean, most of it was from memory, but I had to go back through my log books, through my training manuals. Um, I. Uh, between Jonathan and I, we called people and interviewed. We wanted to make sure that the book was accurate. Collins is excited about Artemis and our future exploration of the moon in the next several years. And liftoff of Artemis 1. Baby steps of building a space station, or you could call it a research station, at the south pole of the moon. Exploring the moon with Artemis is what will eventually get astronauts to the red planet. We want to learn how to live on another moon, planet, safely so we can go to Mars. If you want the chance to meet Collins, you can come out here to the museum 9 to 5, and she'll be signing her book right at noon. We're live in Tulsa tonight. I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley, 2 News, Oklahoma.